guys welcome back to my channel today we are making this dress that kendall jenner wore at the i think vanity affair at oscars after party in 2018 i might have the wrong year but you can quote you can double check that in the comments and let me know if i am or if i'm right um and i'm using my orchestra dress which i will also show a photo of fun fact this actually wasn't my dress it was my sister's that we altered to fit me when I was in orchestra and if you were an orchestra or band in middle school or high school you might know what I'm talking about with this dress we had to wear uniforms that weren't really the most flattering so I have always loved this dress that Kendall Jenner wore to that event and I wanted to make it and so then when I was looking through old things and I saw this orchestra dress I was like oh my gosh this will be perfect I will alter that and make it into my own version so that's what I did. Um, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe and follow me on social media and let's get right into it. So I don't think we can see the full dress. Um, so I'll insert a photo here. But if you know, you know, maybe you don't know. This is from orchestra. This was from when I was in high school and that is almost four years ago now. And I'm going to make this into the, I think it's Kendall Jenner's Vanity Fair party dress in 2018 that I will also put right here <laughs> but yeah I remembered I had this and I was like oh my gosh I have the perfect idea for it we have one little problem which is the back doesn't fit like I said four years ago <laughs> um but I think I have a solution to that so I think I'm going to start by cutting the skirt to be shorter and taking it in and I will show you all that and we'll go from there Okay, so I forgot to say, sorry the mirror is dirty, what I'm gonna do now is mark how long I want the skirt to be, give myself a little bit of bubble room just in case, and then also because of the back, I'm gonna take out a, I'm gonna take out the zipper and just do like grommets or something or loops to close it, and then also I'm gonna cut off the sleeves because I don't want these same sleeves, and then, I don't know, I might just cut the whole neckline, we're just gonna do some stuff and I'm gonna show y'all. okay dirty mirror again i'm sorry i need to buy or yeah i need to buy glass cleaner but i cut the dress i'm wearing leggings so i didn't i just didn't want to take them off i cut the sleeves i cut the back so the back is just open so i think what i'm going to do next is cut the neckline also it has the finish where it has this part so i don't want that also i'm saving all of my fabric my room's a mess but it, like whatever <laughs> i'm sorry also the sleeves are a little gappy like the opening here but since they weren't with the sleeves i'm just gonna leave it and see when i add new sleeves if it like fixes that and if not i'll make a dart so next what i'm gonna do is decide how much i want to take in on the skirt and then pin that and then take it in and i'm also going to put this on inside out to do that and then cut the neckline and then draft a sleeve and then i will show you how to alter a sleeve pattern to make the type of sleeves that i want for the dress so let's do that part okay so i pinned the how i want the shirt the skirt to come in um i don't know if it's going to fully be correct but i'm just going to sew a straight stitch and if i want to take it in more I will just do another one and then also this is not necessary well kind of I'm gonna search the edge edges obviously you don't have to search this if you don't have a serger but to do the loops in the back eventually you are gonna want to pin it down um, so I'll do that later and I will show y'all and I'll later stuff that Okay, so, dirty mirror, 
I'm gonna put up a note that tells me to clean the mirror, but I cut and took in the skirt and I actually like it. It's not as fitted as I wanted, but I think I actually like it. So what I'm gonna do next, I also cut off the neck, so I'm gonna draw, I want a V. It's not gonna be as deep also because I have like this thing with like piping on mine. So I'm just gonna like draw a V how I want it and like blend it into the neckline and cut that out and then I think I'm going to trace the sleeves and then put those on. Okay, so to make the sleeve, what I did is I traced the armhole of the dress and I flipped it over so I could get both sides and using the pencil was a little faint so I used a pen to make it a little bit darker and after I traced the curve I drew, I just made the shape a little bit more sleeve-like by drawing it down and changing how the curve was. I then used this wrapping paper as a guide to cut every two rectangles so I could spread it. I just messed up there, but yeah, I was going for every two rectangles. And then I spread the sleeve until the very edge of it is parallel to the top of the paper. And afterwards, I trace out the new shape for the sleeve. I then traced it with pen so it was a little bit darker once again and then also I created how the armhole should be because there's a little bit of a curve in the middle of it. Okay so I cut out the sleeve so pretty much what I just did is I drafted a regular sleeve pattern from the shirt and then I did the slash and spread method where I cut. I was trying to, I messed up but I wanted to do every two boxes and then I spread up until a certain line and I retrace this so this will be the sleeve and it should give me the type of shape that I want. I was gonna do two sleeves on each side but I don't think I'll have enough fabric for that so I'm just gonna do one but I still think it should be good so I'm gonna show you all that. Okay, so now I have both of the sleeves done. I'm going to sew the edges together like this. So fold them in half, sew it there, and then pin them to the dress and sew them on. So I'm gonna show you all that now. Okay, so I added the sleeves, they're a lot bigger than I want and they don't really sit the way I like or I was intending to, but I think I kind of like them. I also think I'm gonna keep the neckline like this. I don't know, but what I'm gonna do next is probably do the back. So I'm gonna make the loops in a strap because I have a lot of extra and then I'll probably hem the sleeves, hem the bottom, hem the neck. And then Kendall's dress had lace going down the side and it was like a cutout. I'm not gonna do a cutout because I wanna be able to wear this and feel comfortable because I'm just, we're not there yet, but I'm gonna do a little bit of lace down the front seams. So I'm gonna show you all of that. Okay, I forgot to say this, um, but I cut out a strip and I was ironing it down but it took too, a really long time, but I was ironing it in half and then ironing the halves together and then I'm folding it over and sewing it to be closed and I'm gonna use this as a strap to lace up the back. I made this loop, so I'm gonna cut them off to make, or I made this long strand and I'm gonna cut this, cut them off to be little loops like this that will let um, the tie go through and then, excuse the cat, but um, for this back part, I'm just gonna fold it under once and then sew the loops onto it as I'm going. And then also, um, after that, I'm just gonna hem everything and I think I should be done. I might add lace to the front seams just to like give it a little bit more of the look. And yeah.
thanks for watching i really hope you liked it i thought this project was really fun um i will also link the book it's the same book i've used in other videos of how i made the sleeves um yeah i just i really enjoyed it i think it turned out great i made it a little bit too short so that's just one thing to keep in mind but i can easily fix that by just adding more to the end so don't forget to like and subscribe to like and subscribe if you like the video um hit that bell notification so you'll be reminded the next time i post a video don't forget to follow me on my social medias instagram and tiktok and i will see you next week bye